Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends and today we are going to study a problem number two which is based on a sampling theorem. So first of all we'll see what is asked in that question. Problem number two. An analog signal xa of t is given and the signal is sin 480 pi d plus 3 sin 750 pi t is 600 times per second. 600 times per second. This is the sampling frequency is given in question. Now what is asked? The first one, determine the Nyquist sampling rate for this xa of t. Second, determine the folding frequency. Third, what are the frequencies but in radians? in resulting discrete time signal x of n. We will solve each and every part of this question one by one. So first of all, we'll calculate Nyquist sampling rate for x a of t. Let's see what is the solution. So this is my x of t. Now, this t is given this is the sampling period so we have 600 samples per second now we will calculate first part that is a nyquist rate so we have two different functions that is first one is sine second one is cos now what i'm going to do i'm going to substitute my t value or i'm going to replace this t value how to replace this t value just simply do one thing replace t by n by fs so first of all x of t is given and it is sine 400 pi t plus 3 cos 720 pi t now what we are going to do we are going to calculate first part that is a nyquist sampling rate but while calculating nyquist sampling rate you should know what is the maximum frequency present in our question so first of all we will compare both this part with our standard form of of equation that is sine omega t so in first part my omega value is four eighty pi. What is omega? That omega is nothing but two pi f. Now look at on both the sides. We can cancel this pi, and if I divide four eighty by two, then what you will get? Answer is two forty. This is my f1 but now we will calculate the second part that is omega 2. Now again we will substitute my omega 2 value. Now here our pi pi gets cancelled and if I divide the 720 by 2 what you will get answer is 360. Now out of these two frequencies which one is maximum of course the answer is 360 because if we want to avoid analyzing or fold over distortion we should always give priority to highest frequency so my highest frequency is 360 so i can say that for x of t my higher frequency is or maximum frequency is 360 A reason why i'm choosing 360 reason is because i want to avoid analyzing error if I choose a maximum frequency, then we can avoid aliasing or fold over distortion. So my, I'll consider for X of T, my maximum frequency is 360. Now, this is our maximum frequency. Now we will calculate a sampling frequency. You can say a sampling or a Nyquist. So we'll write. This Nyquist frequency is always twice of this maximum frequency. So 360 into 2 answer is 720 hertz now what i want i want to calculate a nyquist rate so nyquist rate is always reciprocal of nyquist frequency
So I just want to calculate the minimum sampling rate or minimum Nyquist sampling rate. And so its value is 1 upon 2w. 2w value is already calculated and it is 720. And 1 upon 720 is 1.38 milli samples per second. Now we will calculate the second part. The second part of this question is folding frequency. So we'll write our x of t function first. Here I'm going to substitute all these t value by n into t or n by fs. All this t will be replaced by n into ts. So my question will be converted into a discrete signal. So this t is replaced by only n. In our question, our ts value is already given, which is a 600. So we will substitute all the values. What is mentioned? 600 per second, which means the sampling frequency value is already given in our question, which is 600 samples per second. So we will replace this t by 1 upon 600. What I'm going to do, we'll divide this 480 as well as 720 by 600. What you will get? Let's see. So what I will get? 4 pi by 5 n and 3 sine 6 pi by 5 n. Now we can modify this sine 6 pi by 5. After modification, you will get the same value which is in first part that is 4 pi n by so which modification you can do so which modification we can do the answer is we have studied one formula that is sine 2 pi minus theta is always minus sine theta so what i'm going to do i'm going to subtract 2 pi or you can say that you are going to subtract of 6 pi by 5 from 2 pi because the reason is you will get the answer which is in minus sine theta So look at it, what I have done, I have replaced 6 pi by 5 by 2 pi minus 4 pi by 5. Why I have written this equation in this form? Because as I said, sine 2 pi minus theta is always minus sine theta. So we will substitute this formula over here. Now, look at it. What we have sine 4 pi by 5 into n minus 3 sine 4 pi by 5 into n. Now, both the sine theta is same. So, 1 minus 3 is minus 2. This is my discrete time signal. Now, what is asked? The folding frequency. How to calculate the folding frequency? Simply, I will do the reverse process. So, I am going to replace this n by t into fs. Now, what is my fs? fs is given, which is 600. Now, 600 by 5 is always 120 and 120 into 4 is 480. So, what you will get? Now, this function is available in continuous format. This is my uh, folding frequency. How to calculate folding frequency from here? Just like omega value. 480 pi. And what is my omega? It is nothing but 2 pi f. So, my f is... 
what is f my formula is 480 pi upon 2 pi so my 2 pi 2 pi gets cancelled and 480 by 2 is always 240 so my folding frequency is 240 but if i want to calculate it in radiance form then in radiance form my formula is or my answer is 4 pi by 5 this is the frequency but in radians and this is our folding frequency so this is all about this question we will solve a next numerical in next video but for that stay tuned to ekid and subscribe to ekid for further more videos thank you so much